Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 30th of June 2011. Tomorrow there's going to be a partial eclipse of the sun. Interestingly, it's only going to be visible from one continent. And today's, so today's trivia question is, what continent is it visible from? Well, having the moon in the way of the sun won't seem to affect very much the amount of activity we see, because there's been hardly any at all in the last 24 hours. Just a few minor B flares. Why should this be the case when we have two regions that are growing on the disk? Let's take a look at them. Well, one problem is that we only have two regions on the disk at the moment. Both of them are in the northern hemisphere. Region 1242 has continued to grow, and I'll show you a more detailed movie of that in a minute. And 1243 seems to be a fairly good region too. So we have regions that have strong magnetic field and are changing, and that's usually a formula for flares. However, there's a third element that I haven't discussed before, which requires flares. The field lines need to be stressed. And when we look at the X-ray movie later, you'll see that these field lines don't look particularly stressed. Here's the 48-hour sunspot movie from the SDO spacecraft. You can see the two sunspot regions slowly developing. Now let's take a closer look at region 1242 as it develops. If you remember yesterday that we had a few spots gravitating towards the uh, trailer and leader region. Today we'll start about at the same spot, but you'll see that the uh, spots develop quite significantly over this 24-hour period. But it's slow and steady growth, it's not explosive growth which is what tends to stress the magnetic field. A similar story is told by the magnetic movie. You can see the regions are growing stronger, but the growth is very steady and, and uh, sedate. In the transition region movie, there is not a lot going on as far as eruptions are concerned. However, a couple of the uh, prominences on the limb look ripe for erupting, so we may get a coronal mass ejection in the next couple of days. So we may get a coronal mass ejection from them in the next couple of days. In the coronal movie, Note how weak those two active regions are, and the brightness of the corona shows the level of stress in those regions. There's one coronal mass ejection seen from the Soho coronagraph data in the southwest. That's probably associated with the old region 1240. The ACE data shows that the temperature of the solar wind is increasing, while its speed is decreasing, and the density is remaining approximately the same. So we would expect that the auroral zones be relatively quiet, and indeed from the NOAA 15 data, they are. So in summary then, the sunspot number is at 45, the X-ray background is at B1, the intensity of the radio sun has dropped to 87 solar flux units, the solar wind speed has dropped to 340 kilometers per second, but the density has increased to 3.4 protons per cubic centimeter, and the KP index is still varying between 0 and 2. Once again, I don't see any reason to change my forecast. In the next 24 hours, C flares are possible, but M and X flares are very unlikely. Sunspot is, will remain low and possibly go lower. Coronal mass ejections are still possible, but a chance of a major geomagnetic storm is very unlikely. But there may be some minor storming from the coronal hole that's fast approaching, that is fast approaching the western hemisphere of the sun. The composite coronal image shows again that there is very little coming over the east limb for the next few days and that most of our bright regions are now on the far side of the sun. So I expect solar activity to remain relatively low for the next few days unless we get major growth in those two regions or some new regions emerge. If you want to find out more about what's going on in the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you want to see earlier editions of the sun today, go to my channel, they're all listed there along with some of my videos on global warming. The answer to the question as to which continent the partial solar eclipse is going to be visible from is Antarctica. So if you want to see the partial eclipse, you better get your skates on. There's a long way to go. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.